Hey guys, it's Scott, and welcome uh, to my channel, Escape Art by Scott. Uh, keep on hitting that uh, like button and subscribe to my channel. Help me keep this thing going, uh, and that, that will help me keep uh, me doing my videos here. I really like doing them. I hope you like watching them. So uh, keep uh, hitting that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. All right, let, let's get going here. We got a, a 16 by 20 uh, canvas here. And you know this today is the the third of October, so I figured I you know go ahead and do a fall scene for you. Uh, some uh, trees back in here, maybe a little pine, maybe some birch trees right here. I might even put in a few swans in the in the little pond here for you. Okay, so uh, let's get going here. Now of course again like always I'm gonna paint the very top of the sky with a light coat of white paint. And I'll show off the camera for that. Anyone can do that. And that's no biggie uh, how to do that. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And I'll be right back. Before I get going, I'd like to share a little information I just heard on the radio. That, um, you know, back in the day, we had a president of the United States, President Roosevelt. And uh, the way I understand it is that one day he was in some forest or somewhere. And he found a uh, abandoned bear cub. Either the mother was dead or abandoned it, so, but it was out there by itself, and he saved it. Well, the, at, at that time, there was a toy maker. And he heard about this, so he went and made a stuffed bear in the president's honor. And hence, that is how the teddy bear came about. So, so I just heard that on the radio. I thought I'd share that with you. So hang on. I'm going to shut the camera off, and I'll be right back. All right, I just put on my white, and of course all I do is put some white on, on a paintbrush and I just go like that, all over the, the top of the canvas, all right? Now I got me some sky blue color, and I'm just gonna come right in here. Just go ahead and paint the whole thing. Might as well. And I'm gonna come back a little later, well, uh, yeah, a little later here, and come over it with some uh, phthalo blue. And something like that. Alright, now I'm going to go right back into some phthalo blue. I'm going to move my palette a little closer. Yeah. I'll be right back. Alright, I got me some phthalo blue. Uh, I wanted to change brushes. So I'm going to come right up in here and just put in some of this nice little color here. Nice little dark clouds right through here. Yep. Yeah. Don't cover up all your little uh, light, lighted areas. They are very important. They're just your color here. Your light blue is just as important as your dark color up here. They need one another. And I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to shut out the camera, but that's all I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing, and I'll be right back. All right. Now that I'm done with my clouds, uh, I might, when this dries up here, I'll come back and put in a little white clouds and all. Nice white fluffy clouds. I need that to dry a little bit. Now I'm going to come back with some phthalo blue. I'm going to put in some water, and I'm just going to come right here. And, put in, and all you do is just come straight down. with it. Many ways to put in water. This is happens for me the easiest way. And I'm all about easy. Ask anybody that knows me. Now I'm going to go into some sap green, right here on the corners. Spray that down just a little bit with some water. See how that smooths? You can really spread it around a whole lot easier once you put that water in there. 
This right here needs a little water. And I might come back with a little blue on the sides here. Not a little bit too green for me. There it is. I'm going to miss the whole thing and just come straight across. Now all this will not be water. I want to come back in with some land and cover up some of this water. Something just like that. Now I want to come back with just a Just a touch of some white paint here and come right about it here and come down. Go easy on this paint, this white paint. Don't put too much because it'll look like snow eventually. You don't want no snow, not in this, not no fall scene. go across and this this is going across and it gives it that little shine to it all right I'm gonna step back and see what I got and I'll be right back now um, next thing I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna go ahead and put in some background uh, material back here some background trees i just mixed me up some fall colors just you know oranges and your yellows and your reds and things like that uh, you won't see any pink trees back here this is a fall scene not a springtime scene and that's another thing you know i brought up my other videos that the um you know some of the people say that you need to have harmony in your uh painting i don't have a clue what you're talking about all right i mean not a clue the only thing I'm, I'm thinking what they're trying to say is that I'm doing a fall scene. So I ain't going to have some snow on the ground here. I ain't going to have all this white on the ground. I ain't going to have pink in here, you know, because it just won't look right. You know, it's a fall scene and you're going to have pink wildflowers growing around everywhere. Okay. It's not going to bring harmony to it. <laughs> so, but anyway, enough on that. If it's a fall scene, paint fall colors, winter scene, paint your snow. You know, you ain't, ain't going to have yellow flowers in, the, in a snow scene. All right? Uh, okay. Uh, so here we go. I mean, if I got to tell you that you didn't know that, you might not need to paint. All right? You might not need to paint if I had to tell you that you didn't know that already. Painting, painting for it is not for everybody. Now, everybody can't paint. You know, which is, you know, which is okay. Uh, you know, um... So, um, let's get on with it. Just like I can't, I can't jump out of airplanes. I can, but I'm not. All right. So, I just ain't going to do that. I will not skydive. Here we go. And all you want to do with these uh, distant trees, they just want to come in here and smudge it around a little bit. Not too much detail back here. Not too much at all. You know, and swap up your colors a little bit. Here's some, got some yellow here. Okay, here's some right here. And just swirl around. Might even want to put a little. Move that there. Let's get this before it starts dripping. It's already dripping. There you go. I can fix that. No problem. Here we go. Now 
Now I'm going to go straight into some yellow ochre. Just switch it up a little. There. Right in here where some, some of this. Right in front of that yellow. Now this will get it, gives it some distance back here. You know, that yellow tree, or a bunch of trees, whatever it is, is behind this one here, see? And that's how that's done. You can come right in here with this and go like that. And all of this is playing around with some color right here. Come right in through here. All right, I'm going to keep going out with this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm done with my tree. I put a whole forest back here. Now I'm going to put out some sap green on my little brush right here. I'm going to come right back in here and put some these, there's all these trees need something to, to grow, to grow on. So let's put some grass back here. That's all it takes. Bring this out right about here. That's a little. Now this is where the uh, it's good to put in this water because let's say I don't have no water back here yet. It's just a white canvas. I'm putting in this grass. Now I got to come back with the water. Now I got to squeeze it behind this hill I just made. And, and for me, it don't uh, look too good when I have to do that. Sometimes I do forget, and I got squeezing that water back here. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Just go ahead and put your water in, and then come back with some land. For me, anyway, that's that's best for me. And this come right out here. See, like I said, you know, all this wasn't going to be water. I need some land here because I want to have some trees right here. Probably need to come out a little bit further. Let's say there's another inlet right here. always come back in here with some little yellow if you want to highlight some of this let's come back right in through here put a little highlight gotta go easy with this highlight because you cover the whole thing and all this is is highlight it's not you know you, you just highlight some of that grass all right this here now sometimes it's good just take your brush with some paint and squirt the water right directly down to the brush same thing Highlight this if you want. And I think I'm going to come up a little bit more. Oh, hey. 
good. There. I like that heel. back here I'm gonna put me a little dirt back here I just got me some just old black and I mixed up some white and some uh, a burnt umber and uh, I really like that burnt umber and I'm gonna come right in here and just put it right here And don't all over mix this, uh, leave it kind of marbly light. <laughs> Putting in a little, uh, some little water movements right through here. I'm using a, uh, I'm putting a whole bunch of color in my brush here, just different colors, the same colors that I use back here, but much bolder, and I'm going to come right up in here and just do this number. And just playing around with some color here. You know, there's any type of trees like this. <laughs> Let's see, I'm getting one right here. I'm going to leave that little opening right here. color yeah there we go oh, yellow ochre just just you know your regular old fall colors there's that I'm gonna come right in here these trees are close enough so you might be able to see some tree bark uh, a tree trunk here and there Put one right here, one right here, just wherever. Maybe for you little trees. Uh, uh, branches. don't want you can just cover right on up all right 
Now, I want to continue on with this, but can anyone explain to me how in the world did my Pittsburgh Steelers lose to the Jets? I mean, are you kidding me? That I mean, that was just, I don't know. I know they had a few little tip balls that went, didn't go their way. But my God, it was the Jets. I mean, really? Losing at home? Come on, Pittsburgh. I don't even want to talk about my Detroit Lions. I am. I have made the decision that I can honestly say that the Lions are the only team that can show up for the game. The other team don't even have to show up, and the Lions will feel somehow will find a way to lose that game. I mean, it is. I mean, it's ridiculous how these teams. That can dominate a game by three and a half quarter, five minutes left to go to the game. The whole game they dominate either by running or passing the ball. You know, let's say they dominated running the ball. They get to five minutes to go in the game and then they start passing it. You know, or vice versa. They dominate the game by passing, then they want to run the ball. You know, all you got to do is just run out the clock and you win. But time and time again, I see teams, even good teams, they just go away from what got them there into that position to begin with, and they just stop doing that. I don't, I don't understand it. I really don't. But anyway, enough on that. Let's get back to this. All right, I'm going to do a couple of uh, subversaries. I ain't done them in a while, so I'm starting off with some white paint, and I'm going to come right about here. Tap that. There's that. And let's see, it gives it a nice little arm. Right about here. Let's do another one. How about there? How about that? Let's do one that comes right here. And it comes right like that. <laughs> You know, a birch tree grow like that. I don't know. <laughs> but this one does. And I put one right up in here. Knock that shape like that. Come in just set some black paint. Oh no, I'm gonna put on the tree bark. The uh, you know the little black uh, spot you see on birch trees. This is the way I do it. There's many ways of doing it. And just tap it. This is where you just don't fight it, just let it happen. If you just let it happen, it, it looks more natural. To me it does anyway. And this one here.
then if you want to, you can get a little, just a little fan brush, and, and if you want to, you can do little movements like that, kind of give it that round effect. Coming up here. Shut off the camera and we'll do that now you know how to do it right hey guys I'm back I had to uh, shut off my camera and let it charge back up but it's fully charged but I went ahead and I put in some uh, my leaves up here on my trees because the paint I will go inside when I come back my paint all my paint will be would have been dried so and I, and I got a lot of paint on my palette so instead of just wasting that I went ahead and just came back in. All I did was use a fan brush. And I just came back in here and just flipped the, uh, the leaves on. And I like using the fan brush on this because the leaves are little open areas. You can see the sky and through here, through the background and all that. When I used a brush, you know, it would cover up a good bit uh, of that. So uh, for me, I just went ahead and used the uh, fan brush. I just used the, uh, the color. The first I went back and I used the Elizabeth Crimson. Then I came back uh, with some uh, yellow mixture and with some orange and it came back in here and hit the little, um, you know, the highlights and all. And I came back down here and also put some leaves in where it fell, fell down from the tree and right through here and I put some right through here in the water as well, okay? And that's all I've done. Now I'm going to come back in here. forgot to do this. But uh, I like to come back in here and do the back trees. I like to put in some greenery. So what do you do? I got a little uh, a liner brush. Just go ahead and just make a little line. And just put in some evergreen back here. And just come back and forth with your uh, liner brush. Not too distinct. Just a little bit back here, just to break it up some. And just move back and forth. Right about there. Put another one. Something like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing up here, but there are going to be more. A little more distinct, a little more detail. About there. Come over here. Just wherever. This adds just a little more interest to your painting here. I mean, this this might do it. You're out there trying to sell sell your paintings. This might do it. right through here and I'm gonna put in some closer evergreens right through here tap it make me a little mark and just come right up I like going up with it because it gives those little uh, the leaves gives it an upward motion kind of Right 
come back with some highlight. So just highlight just a little. swans right through here. Let's see here. I'm going to put one right here. Maybe that's a little bit too big. <laughs> Let me cut the camera off and I'll be right back. I need to fix that. Alright guys, I'm going to call this and finish. I've got my swans in right here. I put a few birds up here. I've been looking at the sky. I think I'm going to keep that sky like it is. I, I think I like it that way. Instead of putting the white clouds in there, I kind of like it like that. So I'm going to call this one finish. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm mean, going you know, to give it a shot. Uh, and I hope this at the very least brings you some entertainment. But uh, I'd like to share something also with you is that um, on the 7th and 8th of this month, next Friday and Saturday, well this Friday and Saturday coming up, I'm going to be at the Real School in Lyons, Georgia. So uh, if you're in the area, you know, stop by and pick yourself up a painting. This one here will be there and all the, uh, the ones that I've done uh, it will be there uh, for sale. And uh, I started a little series. Of, um, I painted one for my wife uh, for her birthday. She seemed to enjoy it. And uh, I, I thought I'd share, uh, I painted a few more. It's a hummingbird and some flowers. I want to show it to you right here. Uh, these are a bit, a little bit of 8x10 canvas. Uh, some flowers and a hummingbird. I painted another one right here. And they turned out, they turned out pretty good. I kind of like them. So I'm, I'm going to do a few more of these. And uh, so... If you're in the area again, Lions Joy on the 7th and 8th, uh, this this Friday and Saturday at the Real Squeal. So uh, if you're near, stop by and come by and see me. But and until uh, next time, I hope you guys you know take care of yourself, and uh, I will see you later.